Lorraine police officials held a press conference today to announce that their officer who shot and killed a dog was reasonable in doing so. You may remember the incident. We want to warn you, though, the video may be disturbing for some of you. The Justice for Dixie movement started back in July. The dog's family saying their pup was not being aggressive to the officer when she was shot and killed. Our Kaitor K is here now. Kaitor, what else did we learn today about the situation and about the officer involved? Well, Laura, the presentation of the findings was about an hour long and also very detailed, including video of the shooting that was slowed down and magnified, along with still frames of key moments. They were trying to determine if Officer Elliot Palmer's use of deadly force was reasonable. Now, this incident happened back in July when the officer stopped to help the Kearns family gain control of their loose dogs. Chief James McCann said the dog Dixie aggressively approached Officer Palmer with pre-attack indicators, which they say were a raised tail, staring eyes and erected ears while charging with her weight forward. That's when Officer Palmer shot and killed her. Lorraine PD also took into account that Palmer had been bitten by a dog about three months before this incident in which he was told he had a 50% chance of losing his hand. But they believe regardless of that, his decision making with Dixie made sense. Ultimately, their investigation concluded that his use of deadly force was objectively reasonable and in accordance with Lorraine PD's policy and state law. Chief McCann says they're making changes in their department concerning dogs and won't let this happen again. And I can tell you this, I do not expect, nor should you expect, our cops to get bit or attacked by dogs. It's not happening in Lorraine. I'm not gonna let it happen in Lorraine. People need to control your dogs, period, the mobile. The chief also shared findings of an independent investigation that concluded that the officer's actions were consistent with what another reasonable officer would do in a similar situation. Now, coming up at five, we'll tell you specific changes that Lorraine PD is making to their policy concerning dogs. And we'll also share what Dixie's family thinks of today's press conference. Laura. All right, Kaitor K, live for us. Kaitor, thank you.